Let's praise the Lord this morning. Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. who are struggling this morning. Father, there are so many that are in that desert place this morning, and we pray, Lord, that you, God, would be their healer. We pray, God, that you would be their eternal Father, showering your love on them this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is my prayer in the desert.
Lord, we believe that with all of our hearts, Lord, the seed that we've received, God, we will sow into your kingdom. God, we will shine that light into the darkness. My prayer for this church today is to continue, Lord, just to build our faith through prayer, Father. We are seeking you. We are really pressing in to you this morning, God. We are pressing in, Father. And we know, Lord, that as we seek you, we will find you. Father, I pray that we will be that church that comes alongside each other. And when we see our brother and sister stumbling, when we see our brother and sister in pain, when we see them, Lord, paralyzed by fear, God, that we would be just like Aaron and her standing beside Moses. Lord, that we would roll that rock underneath of Moses and, and, and let him sit. God, that we would be that friend that would hold up his hands. Lord, we want to be the friend that holds the hands of our friends when they are struggling, proclaiming victory, because that pose of Moses, that pose he had was a victory pose. And we proclaim victory over the enemy this morning because we know, God, that you are Jehovah Rapha, our healer. We believe, God, that you are that banner that flies over us, Lord. And we proclaim you are the light of the world. We proclaim you as healer. We proclaim you, Lord. We proclaim you in our actions, in our words, in our deeds. We will be the church, Lord, that lives out our faith. Lord, we will walk by faith and not by sight. That is our prayer today, God. We know that healing is in your hands. <laughs> you are such a good God. You are such a good God that you knew we would sing this song today. So we proclaim it, Lord, to you. We proclaim your promise back to you, God, that you are God, our healer. Save us, O oh Lord, we shall be saved. Heal us, and we shall be healed. For you are our praise. We praise your holy name this morning, knowing, Lord, that you are our healer. Hallelujah. No mountain, no valley, no gain or loss we know could keep us from your love. No sickness, no from 
our lives over to you. We submit to your plan and your purposes for us, God. God, we know there are people who are who are just hurting so badly this morning, Father. They don't know you or they feel like you've forgotten them. And God, we just know that you see them. We know that you love them. And God, I pray, Lord, that you would just speak truth to them this morning. That they, they would know that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. That they were handcrafted by their creator. That you love them more than they can possibly imagine. And that no sin can separate them from you. Nothing that they have done in their past or their present or their future can separate them from the love that is in Christ Jesus. So I pray this morning, Lord, that if there's any here that, that are holding something back from you, God, that they would just give it to you now. Maybe it's something from their past that they haven't been able to let go of. Maybe it's something that happened this morning. God, I pray that they would just lay it at your feet and cry out to you, Lord, forgive me. Have mercy on me. Because, God, we know that when we confess our sins to you, there is victory over those sins. So we proclaim victory in this place. We proclaim, Lord, that your victory, your victory will just emanate through us. Lord, that we will, we will walk around in victory, knowing, Lord, that you have cleansed us from all unrighteousness. Lord, that you have given us a clean heart. So the enemy has no power over our thoughts and our mind of bringing up those things from the past. We bind him in Jesus' name. We bind fear in Jesus' name. We bind loneliness in Jesus' name. God, we bind all of those sicknesses, depression, anxiety. We bind it in Jesus' name because we know who we are in you, God. We are daughters and sons of a living God who has proclaimed victory. And so we take that position of victory today in this place. And Lord, we know that some of our sisters and brothers are struggling, so we will hold their hands up for them in victory. The enemy will not prevail because we are more than conquerors in Jesus Christ. Set a fire in our souls today, Lord. Set a fire in us, Jesus.
have said in us will never go out. Hallelujah. would just burn so brightly in us that we would just radiate you, God. God, as we go about our lives, our everyday tasks, Father, that may seem so mundane to us at times, Lord, I pray that we would shine the light of Jesus in all of those things, that we would just radiate with your glory, Father. Thank you, God, for meeting us today here today. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that has rained down on this place today. And I pray, God, that we would continue to walk in victory, to carry with us in our hearts that stance of victory, that stance of victory with our arms held high, our arms held high, knowing, God, that we are not alone in this battle. We have you, God, and we have our brothers and sisters in Christ coming alongside of us, encouraging us and lifting us up, Lord. When we can't pray ourselves, we have our sisters and brothers praying for us. Thank you, God, for that. Thank you for this church, Lord. Thank you that you made this church, Lord. Thank you, God, for your spirit that is so prevalent here. We pray for this message today that it will continue to penetrate our hearts, Father. And Lord, we will continue to move closer to you because we want more of you, God. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. 
You may be seated as we continue to worship with our tithes and offerings.